I'm here for a staycation at the St. Regis with my sister and we're going to be sharing our experience of food, stay and everything else in this video. And welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm at the St. Regis in Lower Perel in Mumbai. I'm here for just for night and I have my sister with me and we're kind of celebrating her birthday. So make sure you wish her in the comments below. But yeah, this video is going to be our entire experience. So the first thing I'm going to be taking you through is our room. This is like the entry area and here we have our bags and stuff already. And to the left, we have the bathroom. The bathroom is really really fancy here. I think this is like such a pretty place to even click pictures. And here we have a tub and this tub has like this thing to keep your bath salts and everything. And here we have the shower cubicle. It's like a separate shower cubicle and this is the toilet area. And here we have a few drawers. So this is like a whole drawer full of essentials. There's everything. Toothpaste, shaving kit. This is the hair dryer. And the bathroom door actually even opens into the bedroom. The bedroom area and this is the bed. The room is completely carpeted. Here is like a really comfortable sitting sofa and uh, that's the view outside. What I like is that there's like this uh, cushioned sitting area here also. In terms of view, there's really not much that one should expect in Lower Parel in Mumbai. Tall commercial buildings are like a signature in the Lower Parel area and that is something that you can see a lot from here. You can also see Phoenix Mills from here. So that is the PVR inside Phoenix Mills. And I don't know of too many hotels in Mumbai that are actually connected to a mall. And this one is connected to Phoenix Mills and Palladium. That is like one of the best shopping experiences in Mumbai. Maybe I'll take you guys over there later in the video. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This is like the work desk. And this is kind of like a luxury business hotel. So it does live up to that experience. The room that I booked was a city view king bed and I wasn't sure about the view so I requested them to give me a room with like the best possible view they have. They have upgraded my room and I'm super happy looking at it. What's inside the cupboard? See now. It's an iron board, fancy hangers. Oh. What were you expecting? I don't know, maybe bathrobes. We'll order it. We'll order it. We can order bathrobes. Yeah, of course. Today, I've actually forgotten to show you guys the mini bar as well. So, this is the fridge, the tea counter, ice, oh, miniatures. And here they have some nuts and it's wine. This is what staycations really look like. though this is also a side of Mumbai <laughs> buildings buildings and more buildings we have grandma in bed what happened to you I don't know I'm just slowing down <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens on staycations right evening skies what's happening down wow I think there's a wedding going on down Oh, the Baratis are coming. Quite loud to be able to hear this on the 22nd floor. We apparently have an on-call butler service and just got some tea for us. Also some butter cookies. Happy birthday to you. Mm. Had to get another bite. Mumbai skyline does look gorgeous right now. I think the higher floors might have some kind of a view because I can see the ocean partially. You guys, I didn't expect to see such a gorgeous sky from here, but just look at the colors. Isn't it super, super pretty? 
have given auntie the job of deciding the menu for tonight <laughs> biryani khichdi is 900 you want khichdi no you want salad never divya is going to be deciding the menu for tonight and uh, she said no for salad and also no for tomato soup which is like a staple in most of my staycations i don't know what i'm going to be eating have you decided the meal divya no i can't why it's too confusing all right thank you we're only going to be doing spaghetti tonight and in case we're still hungry then we'll order more All right so dinner is here and we have spaghetti and I honestly don't remember the last time I ate um spaghetti on a staycation so I'm glad my sister chose something different this time we have a lot of complimentary bread and also a very nice thick chunky slice of garlic bread although I have to say the portion is um I have a feeling we might still need a little bit more my sister's on a call and I am sort of hungry so I'm going to be just trying it. The sauce is like on the sweeter side. I actually added a whole lot of herbs in. Mm. The garlic bread is actually wow. Wow, she's made like a heap of chili and oregano. And now she's going in for the main stuff. Why haven't you eaten this? I'm gonna he have it in the end. Why? I don't know. It's just rewarding after the entire spaghetti. Are you full though? No, I think I have some space. Me too. So let's order something else. All right. So we have our second dinner here. Paneer khada masala. butter garlic naan mm. some onion some lime some pickle i feel like this is better quantity than the pasta the gravy is onion and tomato it is definitely high on spice like not spicy but you can definitely feel the flavor of the masalas and there's a lot of uh, coriander seeds on top and i personally really like the flavor of them so i'm enjoying it and uh, even the flavor of uh, kasuri methi is very apparent it's very different than a regular onion tomato gravy not as creamy it's not like completely pureed you can feel the texture of the tomatoes and onion this is the most generous amount of paneer that i've seen in a uh, paneer sabzi i mean there are chunks and there were so many That was a super relaxing bath and now it's time to indulge in some skincare. I have been getting a few breakouts because Aunt Flo is around the corner and this is my routine to deal with them. Acne can actually be caused due to multiple reasons including improper food, stress, hormonal imbalance or even PCOS. And Carmacy have launched their hormonal acne skincare range keeping all of these concerns in mind. First I use the foaming face wash from this range that helps in cleaning my oily skin. then toner that doesn't inflame my skin any further as it cleans the clogged pores next is a blemish reducing serum which i pat very gently followed by a soothing moisturizer that helps hydrate skin without leaving an oily residue and finally this acne spot corrector having niacinamide that helps in clearing spots left behind by acne This is my current nighttime skincare routine. What I like about these products is the unique blend of two key ingredients. First is 100% plant-based salicylic acid. It's a BHA and known to exfoliate the skin and keep acne at bay. And second is shatavari which is a rich source of antioxidants. And I honestly haven't heard of any brand using this particular herb which actually helps fight stress-induced and hormonal acne. 
As you guys know, I use Kamasi pads and I've spoken to you about them earlier and this is a brand that I believe in. For me, this is a range that stands out because of its mostly natural ingredients that are effective yet gentle on the skin. And if you have acne prone skin or breakouts due to PCOS or PCOD or hormonal imbalance, then you can try this range out. Head to the Kamasi website for a flat 30% off as it's a very attractive launch offer. And if you use my code Shweta08, which is given on the screen and in the description box below, then you get an additional 10% off. I'm going to leave all of their links in the description box so make sure you check them and yeah that is it for my relaxing night routine and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. literally had to go and get everything before because they were shutting down and we woke up super super late so I have a lot of fruit here and we have our respective juices and then we have some bread and muffins we have some warm stuff there's idli okma and there's a very different looking bread and bhaji and we also have a sada dosa and we have some more stuff here medwara hash browns muffins so yeah, this is going to be our entire breakfast. This is some pita bread and bhaji. I think for me, this chutney is like so good. It's garlicky, it's got that hint of lime, it's perfect. What do you guys prefer? Pancakes or waffles? I think for me it'll have to be waffles. Let me know your choice in the comments. We have some more sweet stuff. This is babka bread. I forgot what this was called. This is a vanilla muffin and this is a mini carrot muffin. I really enjoyed this. It's got a very powerful flavor of cinnamon. Also, this babka bread with chocolate is seriously gold. This is a buffet that like deserves a fair bit of attention because I think this felt like the biggest breakfast buffet that I have ever seen. It was like a feast. I know already buffet itself feels like a feast, but I think this was like 10 steps ahead. There is like a little terrace area, so we're just walking here. There's not much, but uh, hopefully they have a pool. We are going to go look for it. We found the pool area. It's on the 10th floor. Right now the pool is not operational. Actually, we're the only ones here. Thankfully, it's not that sunny, so we can actually lounge around here for a bit. It's now checkout time and we're just like packing up and rushing and after this I'm gonna be taking you to the mall with me Phoenix Mills which is like an ultimate shopping experience in Mumbai you'll find high-end brands high street brands a lot of restaurants a lot of smaller food outlets up spending too much time here because currently entry to the mall is limited to double vaccinated people only and my sister who's only had her first shot was waiting for me outside and this is actually a policy across malls currently in Mumbai so do keep that in mind if you plan to visit one so yeah maybe I'll take you shopping with me another day but I hope you enjoyed this vlog we did have a really good time and uh, yeah if you enjoyed it as well then make sure you hit that thumbs up because it helps supporting my work and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!